Hey there, Kelly Sparta again. So I want to talk to you today about embracing the giveaway, which is releasing ties to your identity. So why would you want to do this? Okay. So first thing is, I want to tell you, I, twice in my life, I have given away almost everything I owned. And so is it difficult? Yes, it is difficult. It is unmooring, you know, like releases you from your foundations. But it also frees you up to become someone new. Because in a lot of ways, our things tie us to our past. And especially if you're a Taurus or another, uh, you know, type of sign that really likes to uh, ground into home, right? These things become self-definitions. They hold your memories, right? I'm, I'm a Scorpio, so I don't have that problem, but my husband's a Taurus, so I know. <laughs> so um, what I'm going to say is that the, the, the giveaway is a powerful tool. It allows you to clear your clutter, which opens up the energy of your space. So if you're living in a cluttered environment right now, the energy of your life is not moving. And, and you'll see that, you know, there's, there's very little in my home. You know, I've got my drums over here. Um, I'll, I'll come over here. I've got my altar for my business is in behind me. Um, I've got my candles on either side and then my camera's not going to focus. Yay. Uh, it'll figure it out eventually. And then um, see, and then there's not much in here right? That's because clutter holds energy and it keeps the energy from moving. So the gift of a giveaway for the person giving the stuff away is that you get to get the energy moving again, right? Secondly, the other benefit of the, the giveaway is that it unties you from your current space. In many cases, the, um, the, the items hold us in place, right? And so uh, Kathy actually gave me a fantastic tool uh, because I had my mother's piano, which was my grandmother's piano, my great grandmother's piano, actually. And I had learned how to play piano on that piano from the time I was two years old. And I was really attached to this piano, but I couldn't bring it with me to Richmond because we weren't going to have any place for it at the time when we landed. And I wasn't really playing piano anyway because of a variety of reasons. But um, I couldn't let it go. And Kathy's like, look, it represents something to you. And I said, yeah, it's, it's like, I, I, that piano was my best friend in junior high, right? And so she's like, okay, we'll just breathe all that energy back in, breathe it all back in, and just take that energy back in with you so that it can become just a piano again. And I did this process over several days because it, it had years and years and years of memories. And it was a very big item that I had, you know, physically put energy into because of the playing. And so it took me several days to take all the energy back, but take it back, I did. And at the end, I was perfectly happy to let it go. Okay. So when you're considering letting go of things, if they're, if they're tough for you to let go, breathe the energy back in, do that. And you'll find that it's much easier to let them go. Now, you know, if, it's, if something is irreplaceable or, you know, something like that, then maybe, maybe you hold on to it. It's not a big deal. But if it holds a definition for you of a self that you no longer want to be, I would highly recommend letting it go. Because the things that we are tied to hold us in place, much like the roles and the relationships that we are tied to hold us in place. And so if you are looking to up-level your identity, which is a big part of spiritual growth work, then doing this process is super helpful, okay? So I will leave you with that, and I will talk to you next time.